was a step too far for me. I just I don't even talk about it much. But I took on the communist government, the Chinese government, and uh, we had the government of China. And I must tell you, I had a great relationship with President Xi until we came in, until uh, I heard about COVID, which was really, I always called it the China virus because I like accuracy. They weren't happy with that. But we like, don't we like accuracy? And until then, I had a great relationship with him. He's a very smart guy, very strong leader. Can you imagine him dealing with Biden? It's just the whole thing is so crazy. He probably thinks it's a setup. You know, when he meets with Biden, Biden leaves. He goes, well, where? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and he leaves. You know, when I do that, it's very dangerous for me because they're so dishonest. Like, sometimes I'll walk back. I'll, I'll imitate Biden. And I'll walk like into that wall of sorts. <laughs> and they'll show me on television. They'll say, see, Trump couldn't find the exit to the stage. And I do an imitation of it. I say, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And you never notice the way he points. He goes, <laughs> but that usually means he wants to go that way. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll turn around. And then Secret Service, by the way, Secret Service, they're unbelievable. The shit they have to put up with. But Secret Services, and then you'll see this handsome, beautiful Secret Service guy coming. You say, why the hell isn't he president? That's it, right? You see this handsome, and they always grab him, right? They catch him and they, you know, walk him off the stage. This is our president, we got a beauty. But I gave the farmers uh, billions.